Just shoot for the stars If it feels right The name for my heart Hey lovies, it's Sarah. Welcome if back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you. These are items that I purchased with the rest of my Christmas money. So I thought I would um, share this with you. The first place I shopped was Nick the powder blush in taupe I hear a lot of people talk about this a lot of people um, swear by this for contour um, so I thought I would pick it up and see what the fuss is all about there it is right there a very cool toned brown so I'm really excited to give that a whirl I also picked up the NYX illuminator in narcissistic uh, this as well as several of the items in this haul were inspired by my friend Lauren um, she doesn't have a YouTube channel however she does have an amazing Instagram a beauty mark by LT and hopefully you'll be able to see this she is just stunning she's a makeup artist she's extremely talented and you guys should definitely check her out a while ago she had posted a picture of some NYX some NYX items that she was loving and this along with a bunch of the other stuff she had posted about I've never tried an illuminator like this from NYX so I am I was excited to get this again this is narcissistic here's what it looks like just a really pretty peachy pink shade um, I am wearing it today I do like it um, it is a I don't even know if it's gonna come off it is a really really pretty it's right here a really really pretty highlight give off a lot of sheen so if you like a highlight that doesn't give off that like bam glow then you would probably really really like that the sex bomb femme fatale eyeshadow palette I don't have any palettes from NYX so when she raved about it I thought what the heck I will go ahead and try swatched it um, I haven't used it yet some of the colors are way 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 pink Here's that pinkish red shade um, are really really nice here is this really gorgeous like cool toned brown um, it's not ultra pigmented, but it would be really, really nice. There it is next to the glittery shade, which is rather chunky. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But I'll give this a whirl and see what I think. The product I picked before I jump into the lippies was this Roll On Shimmer. Again, another recommendation by Lauren. It looks like one of those old school roller bombs like lip smackers or something uh, stuff is amazing there it is right there I haven't used it on the eyes but it is pigmented it's shimmery it blends out really really nice there it is blended out so I'm excited to give that a try um, I may have to use a mixing medium or a fix plus just to avoid the to the lippies I'll go ahead and show you the lip liners and then I'll go ahead and show you the lipsticks the traditional lip pencil I got the shade nectar which is a really pretty peachy shaped up natural and I actually ended up getting this one off of Amazon because it was sold out on NYX's website and Ulta's website and then the last one I got was Bloom which is just a gorgeous purpley pink shade oh I love that picked love up three of the butter lipsticks I don't believe I own any of these currently so the first shade is snow cap just a gorgeous gorgeous nude then I picked up pops more of a Kylie Jenner nude last 
shade I picked up was Licorice. So smooth. And there's Licorice right there in the middle. I haven't used any of these other than the Illuminator and I'm quite impressed with how they swatch so I look forward to using them. Okay, and then the last few items I have, I got from Sephora, MAC, and then Nordstrom. And start with Sephora. You guys know how much I love liquid lipsticks. I really like the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Formula. So I picked up two shades. I picked up Bachelorette and then Baja or Bajas or Baja 5. Bachelorette and oh my god, you guys. This is beautiful. Gorgeous bright, vibrant, f reddish fuchsia Reminds shade. Reminds me a lot of Urban Decay's Catfight, the shade. Um, and I just am all over that. And then the second one, again, is that one that's hard to pronounce. And this is definitely more of a purple shade. Here it is right there. I'm really getting in to these kind of shades so love love that and i just like i said before i love the formula of those um the next spot was mac um so i ended up getting one of these mineralized eyeshadow duos from the lightness of being collection well, makeup mlc talked about this and just how she described it just really really um, sold me on this so you're going to get two shades and shade is oh my god they're both just gorgeous this to have uh, a little bit more glitter and then this one is going to have more of a sheen to it both beautiful and I have worn these and they perform beautifully. I took a fluffy brush like an E40 and just buffed it all over the lid and that was all I did for a quick look and oh my god both of these just perform beautifully. Uh, one of these eye pencils in coffee. It's right there in the middle. It's a gorgeous blackish brown it's a brown but it's definitely got some black to it so it's nice and deep and I'll uh, tell you what you guys I used this a couple times last week and I love it absolutely love it I love the color it goes with so many looks and it's just a really beautiful pencil and it's easy to apply and it doesn't drag so I really really like that the last of my Christmas money was spent um, at Nordstrom. I ended up picking up three things. Um, the first thing I picked up is the Smashbox Full Exposure, but it's the mini travel size. Um, I had heard so many conflicting reviews about the um, full size of this, and so I just was going to pass. Well, then I was watching one of Lisa Lisa D1's hauls, and she talked about this, and she really, really, really was enjoying it, and I don't know. I just thought it would be something nice to throw in your bag if you're going away for the weekend, or maybe if you're traveling. I'm trying to be better about wearing less, like, during the week when I'm going to work, or when, just because... Nobody needs to look like a beauty queen 24-7, I suppose. Not that I'm saying I'm a beauty queen, but you know what I mean. I just don't need to be wearing all that makeup. And on the weekends, you know, when I'm just bumming it around with my family or we're going to go out to eat, I just need to be spending less time on getting ready. So I thought this would kind of be the perfect little ditty to just pull out when I needed a quick, simple look. Um, I have used it or used some of the colors. Um, and I was really really impressed shade right here is a gorgeous 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 um transition shade and it's very buttery and very very creamy um same with the two of the brown shades um i find that the mattes in this perform really really beautifully and they're nice and pigmented um this champagne shade right here i have used and it's nice and pigmented there's a swatch for you right there it's gorgeous right here and then this one i haven't really played around with much just because they are kind of chunky um and 
I just haven't really had time to, you know, mess around with that. It's chunky in the pan, but when you swatch them, they're definitely not as chunky. You can see, though, that they do have some sparkle in them, so there is definitely um, some chunky texture to it, but all in all, this is really, really nice, um, and I'm excited that I've, you know, picked that up based on Lisa's recommendation. And then the last two items I got, <sighs> were two of more of the NARS Audacious lipsticks. You guys, I just cannot get enough of these. These are just like probably my favorite lip, not probably, they are. I've mentioned it before, my favorite lipstick. I got Annabella. Let's gravitate towards these shades. More of a bright red than what it's showing up on camera. And then Greta. <laughs> which is more of a fluorescent pink. Oh my God. And there it is right there. These are just fantastic. And I just live for shades like that, as you guys know. So they were on my wish list. I had my Christmas money, so I figured why not grab something that I like. to report <laughs> that my Christmas money that was gifted to me was well spent. Um, I am currently out of it. <laughs> um, but I'm really, really happy with the things that I bought. That is it for the Christmas money hauls. I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.